Here we go again. Eagle-eyed fans were left stunned as they spotted Rasmus Hoyland losing it with Manchester United teammate Alejandro Garnacho. Winger Garnacho charged up the left flank and had plenty of time to pick out a pass to Hoagland, but instead, the Argentina ace dribbled into Newport's box before cutting back inside. Unfortunately for Garnacho, he ran straight into an oncoming opponent, and the ball was duly knocked out of harm's way, leaving Hoagland, who had been lurking at the near post, extremely frustrated. The striker could be seen waving his arms about before barking a harsh word at Garnacho. Meanwhile, Ten Hag on break silence on Rashford's absence. Ten Hag said, Marcus Rashford was reportedly in a Belfast nightclub on Thursday night, but was omitted from Oud's squad against Newport. He reported ill, and as for the rest, it's an internal matter. I'll deal with it. As I said, it's an internal matter. After that, Marcus Rashford is facing a fine of two weeks' wages of £650,000 for partying and missing training. The Man United ace will be disciplined after apparently enjoying back-to-back midweek nights out in Belfast. He missed Friday training saying he was ill. Yesterday Rashford, 26, did not play in the 4-2 FA Cup win at Newport County. Boss Eric Ten Hag said, It's an internal matter. I will deal with it. Earlier, United said Rashford is not well enough to be in the squad following illness. He has stayed at Carrington to train as he recovers. Elsewhere, Man United fans are convinced Eric Ten Hag is broken after his touchy post-match interview. He was prickly after the game at Rodney Parade as his team recovered from throwing away a two-goal lead to finally secure a fifth-round trip to either Nottingham Forest or Bristol City. As he spoke to the BBC afterwards, Ten Hag gave no credit to their League Two opponents and instead moaned about the fouling of Newport and claimed that they had nothing apart from the goals. As the coverage went back to the Beeb studio, pundit Micah Richards was in hysterics as he declared, a little touchy, and it did not take long for supporters to take to social media and troll Ten Hag for his attitude. One wrote, someone check on Ten Hag, I think Newport broke him. Another said, that Eric Ten Hag interview was weird, he looked so touchy, again and again. Eric Ten Hag refused to talk about what he and new Manchester United investor Sir Jim Ratcliffe have discussed in private conversations following the British billionaire's 25% stake in the club. Ratcliffe and his Ineos team have been given control of sporting operations at United by the Glazer family, who still own the majority of the club and are already making changes behind the scenes. Ten Hag has held talks with both Ratcliffe and his right-hand man, Sir Dave Brailsford, in recent weeks, with Omar Barada also being appointed as the new United Chief Executive. The United head coach has struggled to get the best out of his team during his second season in charge with the Red Devils' 10 points, a drift of Premier League leaders, Liverpool, and eliminated from the Champions League in the group stages. United travel to League Two, Newport, on Sunday, hoping to keep their FA Cup dream alive in the fourth round encounter at Rodney Parade. Speaking ahead of the match, Ten Hag revealed he has discussed many subjects with Ratcliffe, but insisted the details of talks would remain between the pair. We speak about many subjects, but I can't go into detail, especially when it is so personal, he said. First, the most important thing is the club. It's about the club, about the team, and how we have to work to high standards to achieve our targets. It's not about any individual person. When you're involved in top-level football, I think you know that you have to prove yourself every day. And that counts for everyone who is working for this club," the manager said. Ten Hag has faced questions over United's failures this season after an impressive debut campaign in charge last year, but again admitted that the club is currently on a project to improve. Distractions off the pitch related to Ratcliffe's investment in the club have ran alongside the team's struggles, but Ten Hag described any future scenarios regarding Premier League title success as hypothetical. It's difficult to say. It's hypothetical. And so it doesn't make sense to talk about this, he added. Instead, talk about where we are in the current situation, the actuality, but beware that you are in the project and that we have to follow the process. Meanwhile, Manchester United have informed Bologna they are ready to agree a fee of over 34 millions 
to sign Joshua Xerxi, as per reports in Italy. According to a story published by Corriere dello Sport today, the Dutch forward's current deal with the Italian club has a Klaus of 34 millions that can be activated by former club Bayern Munich. However, the Rome-based news Sarsa have mentioned that, if Bologna receive offers of more than 34 mem, then the Bavarians will have to match the figures to get him back. CDS claim in the Premier League, the Red Devils and Arsenal have set their sights on signing Xerxi from the Serie A side. It is stated that Man United have already informed Bologna they are ready to guarantee a fee of more than the 34 million valuation of the termination clause to sign the forward. Even the Gunners are willing to offer more than the clause to lure the 22-year-old from the Italian side. So, it could be an intriguing battle between the Premier League giants. In the current campaign, so far, Zerkze has directly contributed in nine goals in 18 starts in the Serie A for the Rosso Blu. Tonight, we can expect him to start at the San Siro against AC Milan, who are also looking to secure his signature. We shall see how the transfer saga unfolds and will keep you up to date, again and again. Marcus Rashford is in hot water again at Manchester United for missing training after back-to-back -back nights out in Belfast. It is believed the England star told boss Eric Ten Hag he was too ill on Friday, despite being spotted in Thompson's Garage nightclub hours earlier. The incident is another headache for Ten Hag ahead of Sunday's potential FA Cup fourth-round banana skin at League Two's Newport. Rashford trained on Wednesday and was pictured in Lavery's bar that evening, ahead of a planned day off. He is believed to have been in Northern Ireland to see his pal and former academy teammate Roshan Williams, who is signed for Larney FC. Meanwhile, Manchester United are weighing up a move for John Oblak, according to reports. Todo Fichajes claim the Atletico Madrid shotstopper could be available in the summer. An offer of $38.5 million might be enough to prize the Slovenian away. Last summer, United signed Andre Onana. However, he has failed to hit the heights expected. On the other side, they may be managers of fierce rivals, but Eric Ten Hag has plenty of respect for Jurgen Klopp. The Liverpool boss announced he will be leaving the club at the end of the season. Ten Hag reacted, It's not good for the Premier League. He has made an era there. He built the club and brought the club back where they belong. So congratulations on that. He has done an amazing job at Liverpool. Elsewhere, the Manchester United squad have boarded their plane as they head to Wales to face off against Newport County in the FA Cup. The Red Devils will fly to Cardiff before making their way to Newport for the game on Sunday. The Premier League outfit will be in the air for just 21 minutes as they hop from Manchester to Cardiff.